Hey, quick little context here. Sorry, uh, this video is the conversation that I had with Rob Franco over at Microsoft when I had covered in a just recent video the new Microsoft Edge scareware blocker feature, which is very cool to stop scams. And the 10 minute long, hey, raw full interview conversation that I had with Rob, I just included a little 10 second preview in that original video. And I said, hey, I'll link the full interview and conversation in the link below in the video description. Uh, and I realized, oh, I don't know, maybe that's a little bit tucked away. I was thinking that the normally static, like talking head conversation might be a little bit boring for the YouTube audience that I think likes the flashy show and tell. Uh, so truth be told, I guess I got it wrong. Uh, after that unlisted video got a couple hundred views or so, um, there were folks that were commenting that, look, it's kind of crazy. This is unlisted. It should totally be public. Uh, help spread this word far and wide. So uh, got Rob's permission and did want to open this up a little bit more widely, but that's enough of me rambling. I'm sorry. That's the context. This is kind of of a re-upload for an unlisted video that you might have seen. Just just wanted to explain that because that's, I don't know, a person, human thing that I do. Anyway, video, enough of me talking. See you later. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I am ecstatic to be joined by a new friend, Rob. Uh, Rob Franco, hey, my goodness, I don't know if you'd be willing to, I don't know, just have a little bit of background context to some of the introductions. Could you tell me, hey, who you are, what you're up to, and what's going on in your world these days? Thanks, John. It's great to be here and to get to talk to you about this. The topic here is something that really hits hard with our user community, and we're really happy we're able to put something out there and, and hopefully um, start to have an impact to help people protect themselves. I should have started with my introduction. My name is Rob. Um, I work on browser security at Microsoft. And yeah, just uh, very excited to get the work that we've been at for a long time now in front of folks and start to get some feedback on, on how it's going for them. Excellent. Well, I have heard through the grapevine, I think we both have a common friend uh, that's been piecing together and scheming up some really cool tech to help stop scams or scammers yeah. or anyone that could, oh, I don't know, lead to a fake tech support scam or any spooky, scary pop-ups that just show up on a computer. Uh, could you help kind of color that picture? Maybe, I don't know if we want to chat about our friend Mo or uh, anything else that you all have now put together and are rolling out. Yeah. I guess I'll tell my own perspective on this. I was fixing my lawnmower one day and I was searching for tips on how to uh, fix the lawnmower that didn't work. And I must have mouse over or clicked on something that led me to a site that told me I had a virus and told me that all sorts of mischief was afoot. I had not seen the particular flavor of what I now call scareware manifest the way that I experienced it that day, where as soon as I interacted with it, because of course I wanted to see what it was up to, um, it tried to take over my um, computer screen. It tried to convince me that it had control. It tried to incite anxiety by playing this audio track that was kind of alarming. It was, it was shocking to have that experience myself and then to realize that folks were getting hit by this and they didn't know what was happening under the covers. And then the more we learned about this, you know, the scale of the problem, the more we decided we had to build an additional protection. We already have what's called smart screen in Edge. And I'll try not to sound like I'm plugging the product here, but we think of it as very good at protecting users from these sorts of attacks, right? And it is able to very quickly react worldwide to new threats and protect users from sites that are out trying to run malicious campaigns like this. But there is a time between when a site starts these campaigns and when it's been detected and when that worldwide protection has been applied. And so we decided we were gonna come up with a first line of defense that would basically be there in the browser looking for the kind of cues that you know someone like you or Mo know to look for and recognize, hey, this is this is a fraudulent page, but that a lot of victims um, can't. Well, it's a very cool, I think, new feat uh, and, and great effort to, yeah, at least put some prevention, some blocker in the way when you see a pop-up or a scareware like this. From what I understand, hey, that's in Microsoft Edge. Whenever you have a page that's loaded, it can do some quick analysis and make sure, oh, it, it'll detect and see this is what we know to be bad and let's make that go away. Let's add a warning. Hey, this could be a scam. This is suspicious. Be careful and do not trust mm -hmm. this site. Uh, may I ask, how does that all kind of work? Or as much as you're willing to share or you uh, can absolutely. share absolutely. Um, yeah. and anything else? Yeah. I'll start with, let's imagine me when I was ready to get out and mow the lawn and I was out 
searching for this information about fixing the lawnmower. As I did that, I ended up on a site that had some advertising on it. I probably clicked on an advertisement that said something like, hey, click here to download the PDF. So in the moment when that happened, that advertisement had probably registered originally as a, as a valid advertisement. But then after it registered with whatever ad network it was a part of, instead of sending folks off to a legitimate destination, it started sending people off to the scam site. When I went to the scam site, the first thing that would have happened, Edge would look at that the URL and say, this is not a URL that users frequently visit. It's probably a brand new website that this attacker has just spun up. And Edge would detect that and it would make a call to what's called smart screen, right? And this is the thing that is going to do the majority of the heavy lifting of protecting people from abuse because smart screen is, again, that worldwide network that's, that's there ready to block these malicious sites. But I had caught it early. And so that meant that smart screen hadn't heard of this attack yet. The site, again, tried to lure me to interact with it and click and suspected something was up, but I was investigating. So I decided to click. The page then went into what you know we think of as a full screen page. All of a sudden, all of the X's to close the window are gone and the tabs are gone. Um, and it looks like the page has sort of you know really taken over. And there are tricks that the website can do to make it hard for you to you know, use your mouse or use your keyboard. And so in that moment, I figured out that I could go and look at the task manager and I could kill uh, the browser process. Now let's fast forward to the future because you know, most of the people who are victimized by a scam like this, if they aren't protected by smart screen, they need something else. And so that's where Scareware Blocker comes in and it's going to detect that this site is unfamiliar, that it has gone into uh, full screen, and that's going to trigger us to run the model. And it's really going to see what the end user sees. The, the model has been tested with thousands of scam submissions. Our friend Mo um, helped us get access to these so that we would be able to understand the breadth of you know, what we're up against. Once the model has you know, decided that it thinks something is a scam, it can pull the page out of the full screen view and put it back into a tiny little box in the middle of a, a page that you know I, I think of as the page that's you know protecting the, the user. What we've done is we've included something in the page such that if the if the user clicks the, the close uh, page, we make it easy for them to send feedback. And the idea is that if they can send that feedback, that we can then you know use that feedback to go back and try to protect other users from that particular scam. That's something that hopefully will actually, you know, we, we talked about the smart screen service and how that is helpful. And then also the model itself, it's the kind of thing where we're going to try to adapt as we see, you know, the attackers uh, adapt. One thing I, I should point out is in that case where the user just clicks close, you know, hey, I'm going to get back to what I was doing. Then the thing that the model saw, that's gone. There, there's no screenshot or anything sitting around on the system. This is something that hopefully is is going to you know, help people make the decision like, hey, I want to use this to protect myself. But also, this is a, a great way that we can use computer vision, machine learning here to protect people. It always gets better if, if folks um, can send feedback. But again, the, the point there is that we can help protect folks um, using that, that local computer vision machine learning. Excellent. That's yeah. phenomenal. I know for the moment, oh, we are all within edge and that's great. I know a thousand percent, hey, a lot more of the elderly folks or maybe the folks that would be susceptible to, to fall for something like this and to be duped in that social engineering scam. They offer, hey, just use what's easy, what's available. But I know that's not the only browser ecosystem sure. out there. May I ask, and I, I hate to be the guy that asks, right? But are, are there plans or is there some future vision or, hey, how could we get this incorporated with other browsers? Is this something you'd like and you're chasing after? Well, I mean, absolutely. This is the kind of thing that we would we would love to see other browsers adopt a equivalent functionality like this because this is just something we don't want to see happen, you know, regardless of what uh, browser you're using. No, without a doubt. The right mission, the right action, the right effort initiative. So can't complain there. What is next for you all? If I may ask it, this is incredible. This is great. Is it, it's, is it already in, oh, GA generally available yet? Is that the plan soon or um, what's next on the horizon? So Scareware Blocker in Edge is a preview right now, but it's available on all channels. I know you've enabled it on um, your system. And you can enable it on friends and family if you have folks that you're concerned about. One of the things that's been exciting since the last time you and I spoke 
is seeing that, you know, since the preview uh, went live, seeing people submit feedback is really powerful. It proves that people are motivated to, you know, collaborate here to, to getting these things taken down. And so you, you sort of feel this camaraderie when you see this piece of feedback and you say, I don't know anything about the human being who who sent that piece of feedback, but I know that they are trying to help us, you know, protect other people and that they're trying to do a solid in general. And so we're appreciative of that. Getting this more broadly available where we could see, is this something that we could, you know, enable for folks by default? Is this something that is going to be appropriate for for that kind of an experience? That's the thing that we're looking at right now. And ideally, we, we want to have this kind of protection for everyone. Excellent. Well, hey, kudos to you all. Seriously, props. Hope you all are very proud to get this out the door because it is making a difference. It is moving the needle. And just as you mentioned, seeing that camaraderie or really just the collaboration and like, look, it takes all of us in the fight against whatever it is, whether it's hackers, whether it's threat actors or whether it's scammers. Uh, at the end of the day, anyone with their ill intent. So thank you, thank you, thank you for making a difference. And uh, I'm so excited to see where it goes and continues onwards from here. So thank you so much, Rob. Anything else to squeeze in? But I think this is looking good. (laughs) It was my pleasure, John. Um, Thanks again for your interest and your engagement. And thanks for helping us get the word out.